people undermine the importance of mental illnesses and this is exactly why they should never be taken lightly. Adi Sanchez was a 33 year old mother of a three week old baby. She had severe mental illnesses but was never given proper care for them. She started to hear voices in her head and became very paranoid. These voices were telling her that she needed to get rid of her baby because the devil was inside of him. Once she started hearing these voices telling her these things she tried to admit herself into a psychiatric hospital but they denied her. Sent her home with some medication and told her hey you're crazy but you're gonna have to deal with it by yourself. Adi was aware that these thoughts weren't normal so when she would feel like she might do something bad to her son she would give him to her sister but her sister would give him back to Adi after she thought Adi was good again. Although she knew Adi was having thoughts about harming her own son she knew about Adi's severe mental illnesses as well. Their whole family did there was several warning signs but the baby was never taken out of her care and this led to a devastating outcome. One night Adi was staying with her mother and sister after she got in a fight with her baby father. Adi's sister had woken up to some loud screaming. It was Adi screaming after she had cut her son's head off and ate part of his brain. Here's what would happen if a snake were to swallow you. First, the snake will wrap around you and choke you to death. After this happens, it will open its mouth and spread slimy saliva all over you so that you can be ingested in its stomach. After being swallowed, you will be led down its stomach where you will pass by all of its stomach acid. And this is what it would look like. Soon you will be fully ingested into the snake and its stomach acid will start breaking down your entire body. And for reference, here's a man who put on a protective suit just to test out this theory. He covered himself in pig blood and went near a snake and he almost died. This woman will never look at sticky notes the same way again. Once a young woman came home to find her house empty, she went to the kitchen to get a snack and found a sticky note left on the fridge. But as soon as she looked at it, she realized something was strange about it. It said there is someone in the house. Assuming it could be her brother, she said that's really funny but the prank's over. No one answered. She walked towards the door but it was locked. Then she turned around and on the table was another sticky note. It said you're not going anywhere. She began to feel scared. She opened the kitchen drawer to try to find something to defend herself but the drawer was completely emptied. Inside was another sticky note you shouldn't play with sharp things. She ran upstairs to her bedroom and locked the door and quickly called the police and begged them to come as soon as possible. Then all of a sudden the TV turned on by itself. It was loud and static, but on the screen was another note. Now I have you where I want you. This time the young woman began screaming. Soon the police found her in a corner crying in fear. They searched the house and found no one there. But as soon as the young woman stood up and tried to leave, police found something horrifying. An officer took off a note stuck on the young woman's back and handed it to her. It said, I was this close. Here is why you shouldn't eat spicy food. Blake was a 25 year old man who had just got married. On the day of his marriage, he appointed a special chef who would make crazy meals for people. So once Blake and his wife were eating, the chef came over and gave Blake a special meal. But immediately after he started eating it, Blake started feeling very nauseous. In fact, it got so bad that Blake immediately started sweating bullets and dropped to the floor. His wife immediately called an ambulance who came and picked Blake up from the restaurant. Immediately, he was transported to the local hospital where the doctors took a closer look at him and you won't believe what they found. Because as they were examining him, Blake had unfortunately passed away. The medical examiners later said that it was all the heat from the food. If you ever hear someone whistling, don't do what she did. Once a girl moved to Peru with her dad, who started a new job as an English teacher. But one night, something strange happened. She looked out the window and saw a long, dark shadow moving through the trees. Then, as the shadow approached her bedroom window, she heard a whistling sound. Not thinking much of it, she began whistling back to it. Her father came to check on her and found her daughter still facing the windows, whistling to something unknown. He asked, what are you doing? And she replied, whistling at the dark figure in the trees. And as soon as the father looked outside, he took his daughter and locked her in the closet. Then he broke the key in the lock and locked the windows and from the inside of the closet the girl could hear her father saying prayers but all of a sudden it stopped then she heard a scream the bedroom windows shattered and she heard her father's screams fade into the distance the next morning the girl was found by villagers investigating the damage to the house her father was never found and eventually she was adopted by her aunt and uncle years later she still sleeps inside a locked closet in fear that the dark creature that once whistled to her would someday return for her You won't believe this crazy truth behind Addison Ray. One day Addison was filming a TikTok in her car when something crazy happened. As she was driving, she noticed a little boy run in front of her car and Addison had to brake just in time. Thankfully, she was able to do so just in time before hitting the little boy. But Addison felt so bad that she got out of her car and actually approached the boy. She would then proceed to take him home and teach him TikTok dances for the next few months. She told him every little secret about becoming famous. And well, that little boy ended up becoming Bryce Hall. Follow for more. 
Imagine TikTok being so powerful that they actually help you identify the person that almost murdered you. On my For You page the other day, I found this viral video that you guys might recognize, which states videos I took before almost being hunted and murdered. I clicked on her page, listened to her story, and was like, I have to know more. So I reached out and got the full thing. This is the case of Flowers Don't Growl. April 29th through April 30th of 2019, Taylor and her boyfriend Chris decided to take a trip to Falls Creek Falls, Tennessee. Taylor was five months pregnant at the time, so they figured they needed one last little trip before they were going to have a baby. And Taylor swore that Chris was going to propose. So that's why she documented so much of this trip, not even realizing that later on it was going to be used as evidence. So they set up at their assigned camping lot. They spent their time hiking, exploring, having fun. Taylor would collect flowers along the way to document it for memory's sake, but please keep these flowers in mind. And then on the second day, everyone from their assigned area was gone except for them. So they were more alone than before, or so they thought. Welcome back to part two of Flowers Don't Growl. So later in the night on their last day, they ended up hearing a loud crash. There's very windy roads nearby, so they figured that it was a wreck. And just to make sure kids weren't involved and that everyone was safe, they got out of their tent and ran over to the crash site, which was maybe half a mile away to go check on the people. The sheriff ends up showing up and it's like a DUI situation, but everyone ultimately was okay. So before heading back to their campsite, Taylor says she has to go use the restroom. So her and Chris walk over to the bathroom so she can do her thing. And in the distance, they see a light flickering. And as it gets closer, they notice that someone is running with a flashlight. So they're both cracking jokes to each other like, oh my gosh, this guy really has to go to the bathroom. But once he approaches the restroom, he ends up stopping right at them instead of actually going into the bathroom. And states, and I quote, wow, you guys are fast. Creepy. Taylor notices that he has a weird smile on his face and feels really nauseous but just associates it with the pregnancy. So just to be nice, they continue to have a conversation with him. But ultimately, this is where things go wrong. Part three on flowers don't growl. So Chris and Taylor continue their weird interaction with this man. Chris explaining that they got to the wreck fast because they wanted to make sure everyone was okay. And the guy goes, yeah, I guess I'm just used to it. And Taylor's confused because like used to what? Hikes? Car wrecks? They ask what he does and he says he travels a lot and likes to go camping. And Taylor starting to get very uncomfortable now tells Chris that, hey, they need to go back to the campsite because the police will be over there waiting for their statements. Just trying to make an excuse to leave and Chris could tell it was And as they start to take steps back, he starts to take steps towards them, asking questions like, hey, how long are you guys going to be here for? And his hand kept playing with his hoodie pocket. Chris was starting to pick up on the message as they continued to walk backwards while the man followed them forward. And then this guy decides to tell them a little story. He was like, car accident. It got me thinking this morning as I was hiking and I passed these flowers. I stopped because they were so beautiful and I heard a deep growl and it scared me. And it makes me think, you know, you never know what day is going to be your last. That's when they saw the knife.